This is our family's adventure at Rocky Mountain National Park with our five kids and two who are autistic. We're traveling to all the national parks in the U.S. and Rocky Mountain is our 34th national park. This national park is huge. We spend two days on the west side of the park and decide to drive our RV through the park and spend the next two days on the east side. Both campgrounds are pretty amazing and very supportive and helpful, especially for families who have family members with unique needs. We love Elk Creek Campground. We'll put the links of the campsites below in the description. We head straight to the visitor center and the kids get their junior ranger badges. So we are taking Big Blue even with our little red van in tow through Rocky Mountain National Park and we got to the entrance and the lady kind of said nervously like um there's a lot of switchbacks and we're like yeah we know we heard. Driving through this amazing park is truly spectacular. We stop at the Continental Divide only to lose a couple shoes and socks along the way. Okay, Mark. We're here at the Continental Divide, and right now we need to try and find all the baby's socks and shoes, which is harder than um, we thought. Oh, yeah, are you ready to go play in the snow? Mm. Oh, you don't want to go back in the car. Do you want to go back in the car? And we see some amazing wildlife and some other unexpected things. to our KOA, we have everything hooked up. We traveled over that whole entire park. It was a little scary, especially where we were like on the edge of the cliff. Feels so good to be at our campground with the slides out and hooked up to everything, everything. Um. This is the only one that I brought and it broke. When we get all settled in the RV, we eat a fast dinner and explore just how fun this campsite is. We ride trains, eat ice cream, meet Bigfoot. Pretty cool. Ezra, who's that? Who's that? You like Bigfoot? All right, take a picture of Dad. And even Mommy sings some karaoke. Greg, the awesome owner of this awesome KOA. We love Estes Park KOA. They have pancake breakfast and even church service. It's your You guys ready? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. It's so good for Ezra and Simon to experience new places and new things with the support of their family around them. New and especially unexpected things can be scary, but they have so much fun in this new place. It's been a big day. It's time to get to bed. Uh, I'm excited to go to Emerald Lake. I think. It might have like emeralds on it. On the lake? Yeah. Oh wow. Today we're walking up a waterfall and going on a big hike to Emerald Lake. We share daily videos of our unique normal with two boys on the autism spectrum. Please consider subscribing. Give me Ezra. Yay! Ezra wants to get up close to the waterfalls. It's loud so he blocks the sound with his hands but he stays close to the water. 
Ezra. The sound of the waterfall could put me to sleep. Comment below and tell us if you like the sound of rushing water too. Both Ezra and Simon love it, even if they both have to cover their ears. You know what I love about national parks? This. He can just be in his own little world, and yet he can be a part of nature. He can explore nature. This is so much better than being on a device. Think about the things that he's learning, imagination that's going through his head. He's taking these rocks, he's organizing them. He's just playing in water with rocks. And it just feels right. Like I want my kids to just feel like the world is theirs and they can connect with mother nature. They can connect with God in his creation. What do you think, Ezra? Ezra is autistic. He doesn't speak yet, but he can communicate. Remember, if you've got a child who's autistic, you're in good company. He threw his sandals again. We're going to have to get him back, Ezra. As soon as we get out of the car, Simon is sad, and we don't know why. It's going to be uh, freezing cold. So Benson promptly puts him on his shoulders to help him be happy. Oh, that's cute. I missed it. Ezra, do you know what we're going to do right now? Pass now some beef jerky. <laughs> no, you do you want it? Does he like it? <laughs> he likes it. He likes it, but we're gonna go buy Nymph Lake right here. We're gonna go over here and go buy Dream Lake right here, and then we're gonna go end at Emerald Lake. And that's where it is. And then we'll come back. You guys ready? We're creating a little hiker. Lake. There's like hundreds of these lakes. And then we run into a real problem. Simon won't stay with us on the trail. He won't even stay on the trail. And for those of you who may not know, it's actually really important to stay on the trails in national parks. We want him to stay safe and stay with us. So we really have no choice but to put him in the backpack, which he's not too excited about right now. We're just starting to go from Bear Lake to Emerald Lake, and Simon has decided that he has to hold the GoPro. Good, he's okay. He's happy. He won't yell, or scream, or cry, as long as he holds the GoPro. But of course, we don't want him to just let go of it. So I'm holding it. So we're all connected, all three of us. So like, right. Best. As Simon holds the camera, he turns it on and off. And on the upside, we get some priceless two-year-old video. Nymph Lake. I can't see you, Marie. Oh, you're in that. Wow. I can see your eyes. That was kind of scary. All right, coming out. We're going to go back on the hike. Can I just take some video of this? Be careful on here, guys.
you want a baby girl? Well, you are my only baby girl. What is it like having four brothers and no sisters? Tiring. Tiring? It's emerald. It's probably just really green or something. Yeah, maybe. We get to Dream Lake and we know we're getting close. Then we run into some snow and ice. That was so exciting. It's a little tricky walking on the ice and snow. We even meet a beaver. I've never seen a beaver in the wild. It's okay. Come out. <laughs> I had like the best experience with a beaver. He just like stared at me. He was like two feet away from me. He was so cute. And we made it to Emerald Lake. How does it feel? Freezing cold. Freezing cold. Any cold. feeling of um, achieving a goal? I just started. Oh. It's been a big day, and the kids are hungry, so we make some sandwiches. Here we are at Emerald Lake, and we are just getting some sandwiches. This is such a beautiful view. Is this worth it, guys? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> You're thinking about it. You're thinking it over. Look how gorgeous it is. We achieved our goal. Yum. And Rocky Mountain National Park, I'd say it was a success. We won't soon forget you. Join us next week as we explore Hot Springs National Park, one of the most unique national parks.